Good day folks, this is a closer look at the uh, 5 8 vertical for 2 meters. So how the matching section looks. Take some of this uh, stiff wire down here. We'll make a little uh, loop in the end of it. This is the uh, matching rod that comes out from the center of the connector on out through this little block. Now, this little block has a set screw in there. That once you get your tuning right, you tighten your set screw in place. It's a little uh, block of aluminum. Holes drilled one way for the loop and uh, for the other way for the attaching rod. And also too tapped for the set screw. This uh, stiff wire, it's a uh, half wave. Well, uh, it uh, ends up being about 39 or so inches, 38 to 39 inches. I'll start with uh, 40 to 42 inches and bend it around a paint can and uh, try to get the shape and then open it up a little bit and uh, you'll end up with about a 6 inch diameter. The uh, mounting section I've used some square tubing and this is about 1 8 of a wavelength, about 9 and 5 8 inches and I use it on an insulated mount. And I put that on in mock-up so I could uh, I'd like to have the uh, connector centered within where the uh, bracket will be. So it's pretty much in the center of the coil or as close as you can get it to it. And that's the way I've uh, done it so far. Radiating element of course is 5 h wave which is 4 feet or just under. Somewhere in that range. Uh, mostly made from uh, recycled materials. A uh, bit of stiff aluminum wire, connector, bracket, bit of tubing for the mount, a little bit of PVC. That PVC turns out to be a scrap about 11 inches or so long. And a little bit of stainless steel hardware. And uh, it was a long time uh, fooling around with it. Tried to get it uh, the way I wanted it. Tried to get it to, <laughs> to be sensible. But in, a, in any event, it uh, finally uh, came through. And... Uh, Works great. Had one up uh, just like this now for a few years and uh, been getting real good service with it. And that's all from downtown Foxtrap this evening. Good night all.